As the popularity of anime grows, industry leader Crunchyroll is releasing the latest installment to of the, the world of comics and graphic One novels Piece, now as a special on new edition of the manga series of One Piece. Hits the One show. Piece. It's if you've never heard of it, you don't live adventures. on planet Manga. So we all know One Piece, some people are fans of it, some people don't really like it, mainly because of the amount of episodes. But let me tell you the story of one man whose pen and paper set sail on a grand adventure. And when I say grand, I mean grand. With more than 516 million copies in rotation, this man created the best selling manga in history. And the best selling comic series printed in volume in turn making him one of the best-selling authors. This is something no one can deny. The series' popularity resulted in him being named one of the manga artists that changed the history of manga. This is the story of Eiichiro Oda, the brilliant mangaka who gave life to the legendary One Piece. So the journey begins on January 1st, 1975 in Kumamoto, Japan. A young boy named Eiichiro Oda is born into a world filled with vibrant colors and endless possibilities. By the time he was four years old, Oda was already in love with all things involving anime and cinema. Many things that Oda's love for manga began with Dragon Ball, the work of Akira Toriyama, rest in peace. This, however, is only half true. As a child, Oda's love for manga was ignited when he discovered the show called Vicky the Viking. Vicky the Viking was an old cartoon that aired in Japan while Oda was still a kid and featured a young pirate. While watching the show, Oda decided that just like the show, he wanted to create a manga about a pirate. And this is where it all began. While Oda already had his love for manga at the early age of 4, he actually started to learn how to draw manga sometime later. He learned how to draw manga when he was 17 years old. As the years passed, Oda's passion for drawing manga only grew, and he dreamed of becoming a mangaka himself. While he had all the right reasons, one of them was, to quote, to avoid getting a real job, and I completely understand that. The idea that eventually grew into the best-selling manga of all time started in high school. With his early inspirations of Vicky the Viking, he started drawing manga, creating and testing ideas to create his very own pirate manga. Thinking about where his inspiration came from and when he started circling around ideas for One Piece, it really makes sense that One Piece always has this cheerful and happy undertone, since it resonates, to the core, with Oda's inner child and the love he discovered for manga while still being a child himself. Since the beginning of him creating the story, the end has always been decided. As Oda said himself, the last scene has not changed despite all the influences. At the age of 17, Oda submitted his work Wanted and won several awards including second place in the coveted Tezuka Award. That got him into a job at the weekly Shonen Jump magazine. At the age of 19, Oda started working as an assistant for Nobuhiro Watsuki, the creator of Ruroni Kenshin, who later labeled Oda as a genius and claimed he knew One Piece was destined for greatness. After winning the Hopstep Award for New Manga Artist, Oda drew two pirate-themed one-shot stories called Roman's Dawn, which were published in Akumaru Jump and Weekly Shonen Jump respectively in late 1996. Roman's Dawn featured Monkey D. Luffy as the protagonist, who then became the protagonist of One Piece. In 1997, Ichiro Oda's journey reached a turning point. The first chapter of his magnum opus One Piece was serialized in Weekly Shonen Jump and started his journey towards the top. It sold 100 million copies by February 2005, over 200 million by February 2011, over 320 million copies by December 2014, 430 million volumes as of October 2017, 450 million as of March 2019, and currently has over 516 million copies sold worldwide, making it the best selling manga of all time. Besides the manga, One Piece currently has a total of 15 movies. While all the movies are cherished by fans, one of them holds a special meaning even to Oda. For One Piece Movie 10, Strong World, Oda created the film's story, drew over 120 drawings for guidance and insisted that Mr. Children provide the theme song. 
Additionally, a special chapter of the manga was created called Volume Zero, which was given free to attendees of the film and also contained his drawings for the film. Following the particular success of this film, Oda also provided the character design and executive produced the subsequent movies being Movie Z, Gold, Stampede and Red. Around 2004, One Piece and Shonen Jump were more popular than ever before. However, what caused the takeover around the world was a combination of three shonen anime. One Piece, Naruto and Bleach. They were labeled the Big Three. A title bestowed on the three most popular anime of the 2000s. These three series completely carried Shonen Jump in this time period. This age would later be called the Golden Age of Shonen Jump. The gap of sales of these three titles compared to every other series was unbelievable. However, no one wanted to be number two. Eiichiro Oda and Tite Kubo, the creator of Bleach, had a 20 year long fight. This fight started because of the previously mentioned award that Oda received for Roman's Dawn. Kubo had entered the same competition and felt that he was the one that was supposed to win. But after Bleach was outvoted by Roman's Dawn, the dreams Kubo had of launching his mangaka career got pushed back by some years to 2001 when Bleach was first released. Kubo directly held Oda responsible for this and even went as far as to say I hate Oda in a 2017 interview. Oda and Masashi Kishimoto, the creator of Naruto, also considered each other their rival. This was however not in a negative way. Oda even admitted that Naruto was more popular worldwide in a 2015 interview and that he appreciated the work. Kishimoto on his turn said he wanted to surpass One Piece in manga sales in 2016, but he was never able to do so. However, their respect for each other is shown through their work by Easter eggs and shouting each other out in their manga. Their rivalry turned to friendship went viral back in 2013 when Oda was hospitalized for overworking himself. When Kishimoto heard about his friend in the hospital, he went over and he was shocked when he found out that Oda still was working on his hospital bed. Instead of asking him to stop, Kishimoto grabbed the chair and helped Oda work on his chapter. It would later be revealed that what Oda was working on in the hospital was One Piece's Dress Rosa arc. As the years pass, Ichiro Oda's legacy continues to grow and One Piece remains an unparalleled phenomenon in the world of manga. The story is often praised by fans and criticized by non-fans for the length of both the manga and the anime. The manga and anime both have over 1000 chapters and episodes. At the Jump Festa Superstate 2023, Oda pledged to finish the manga gradually. He told fans that the series had entered its final saga, but all the key events to finishing the story would take a long time to set up and execute, at least much longer than a year or two. The first season of One Piece live action series has been released since August 31st of the last year, making one of Oda's biggest dreams come true. Bringing the story of One Piece to the world. As Oda stated in a message when the live action series was still in production, he wants to bring One Piece to the entire world. With its release, the live action series hit number one in 84 countries on Netflix, surpassing the record set by Stranger Things Season 4, making One Piece officially go global. From his humble beginnings in Kumamoto to becoming a global icon, Eiichiro Oda's journey is a testament to the power of dreams and determination. I hope you guys enjoyed the story about Ichiro Oda. He's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, mangaka. Don't forget to check out the other content on my channel. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next one.